<laughs> that is definitely brutal, Jekyll. I take it it's a... Is it a game on Steam or is it like a... An IO game or a web-based game? Now, you know what? I fed on a... Um, blood type frail yeah that was a mistake I, I should feed on a creature instead um my blood magic yeah these are all equipped i've got all that done that's great oh whoa look at these now this is a lot of metal I can't get the iron yet, sadly. That's a great question, Hot Hot Dog. This is a base builder, um, you know, crafting kind of survival game with a ARPG built in, where you're a vampire. It's not open world. There's a a procedural map that's generated, like you get a seed, and so this is the map. I mean, it's a, it, it's open world in the sense it's like it's this big. Um, but it's not endless, I don't believe. All right, let me try to get home. I have how much metal now? I have a lot. We could almost make something. That's how bad I'm doing. It's like, I could almost... Ooh, there's some metal. Um, I gotta run across this plank to get there. We're going to start getting seared, but we can walk over here. This is a big pile, too. That's awesome. Oh, cool. Well, I definitely want to check it out. Thank you so much for recommending it. Oh, look at this. It's an angry treant. Let's just move away from that. These look like some angry spiders. Um, interesting. Oh. Uh oh, I got put into a web. That can't be good. Oh, God. When your counter is mistimed, it's so brutal. Alright, let's go over here. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh god, I'm getting wrecked. Okay, let's let's run away from this. This isn't going like I wanted it to. Okay. Yeah, I'm not quite strong enough just to go challenging big packs. I don't have very many abilities. Let's eat a rat to just kind of lick our wounds a little bit. There's some pickups over here though. Oh, God. Oh, God. I almost died. So, the mouse is not um, <laughs> locked to the to this monitor, and so it accidentally just wandered off the monitor, and then while it's off there, you can't move, and I was in the sunlight, and whoa, that was scary. So, let me eat some soup. No, I need to put my way get yeah. Show me where my house is. We need to get home. That's cool. Oh, here's a pack of jerks. Oh, God. Look, guys. I want to fight you, but I can't burn to death in the sun. I'm sure you understand, right? All right. 
Oh no, they're all coming in. Look, there's too many of you. Oh, it's getting brutal here. Uh oh. I didn't need that last hit. Oh god. I'm downed. No, we gotta respawn. This is a good question. So, yes. And it's more the case... Um, it's more the case that the enemies will attack you. You can play this game, Hot Dog, multiplayer. So you could play this and, like, other people would start on the map and you'd all be starting from scratch trying to build up and build a base and defend yourself and fight. I am playing single player. So they could come get me, but I don't think that they do. All right, now let me see where my body is. It's over here. My drop loot. I got 45 minutes to get there. Let's go get it. Now, the main thing that obviously caused that to be difficult was the fact that it was daytime. I know, isn't that hilarious, Morgan? I was like, I didn't know it was going to be 50-50. We'll have to see. Like, by the time it gets to Thursday, I really hope it's not 50-50. I'll just flip a coin. It means there's interest in both games, I guess, or I don't know. I mean, I want to play both. That's what I couldn't decide myself. So I was like, well, I'll just outsource this. But it's almost, I mean, it is almost. Ooh, they have a treasure chest this time. Almost not burn me time. The games that have me 100%, that's, um, that I, you mean games that I have 100% cleared? That's a good question. I, um, I've only 100% at a few games. I'm not good at doing that usually. Um, so I'll tell you what, the most recent game that I did 100% on was, um, Final Fantasy 15. I was having fun with the game, and it was actually a pretty easy 100%. So I, I was able to do that. Some games I love, but I can't get 100% because it's like it's just too hard. They want you to do something that I can't do or would take too much time. I'll give you an example of one recently. Um, I like those Batman games where they... Oh, look at this. We got coins, thread, fiber, and cloth. Take it all. And take all this too. So there were these like Batman Arkham games that were so much fun. And I played them, and I got every single thing that you needed to get it 100%. But then, it turned out that there were, like, these sequences where you had to do really fast flying through, like, rings and stuff. I'm just terrible at, like, flying in games like that. So I was like, well, I'm never going to be able to get 100% in this game because, you know, this particular requirement is too hard. Yeah, I liked Arkham Asylum. I liked, um... Oh, there's my body, I think. Take everything. Well, we're back. Oh, 
Ah, oh, we got our body. All right, let's get back to our base because um, I'm not really interested in, in dying right now. This is an undead assassin, which I don't want to fight that right now either. Yeah, we're really far from home. I went way too far. Anything that has time attack or some kind of, like, really, really skill-oriented thing. I'm just not very fast. You can make it enormous, um, from what I understand, Jekyll. I'm very early, but, like, you can make it a massive, sprawling, you know, Victorian... Actually, earlier than Victorian, like, gothic, you know, vampire castle with all the, the decorations that you would expect of Count Dracula's castle. Right now, mine's made of wood. It's very modest. Oh, look at all these rats. How about that? We're getting a ton. That's exciting. All right, that's a lot of rats. And then um, I'm going to go over here. Let me go to the furnace, and we're going to dump in all of that and all of that. Now we've got a bunch of ingots coming out. Let's get some planks going. There we go. Anything we need to make at this workbench? I don't think so. I will make some, you know, vermin salve. I'll queue a bunch. Gotta have food to eat. Um, this is a fat gobby. A fish. It is a fish. Alright, open this up. Let me put some things in here. So, like, this goes in a grinder. This is a flower. Um, gem dust. You know, some of these, like, gems and stuff. I just don't need to carry these around. I'm not using them. Wow, look how much essence we have. It's very exciting to see all that. Money. Cloth. Coarse thread. Paper. Put all that away safely. I'll make another chest. Just keep myself with some uh, some options here. I don't think I need to have as much stuff in my inventory. So I'm going to go ahead. Sawdust. Don't need to carry it. Clay is at a grinder. Yes, I have. Um, I certainly have. God, let me think of, like, some of the saddest ones. I feel like, um... Mm, why are they slipping? I mean, like... Maybe... Hmm, there's got to be a Final Fantasy that I did, and then... I mean, Last of Us, like, I didn't cry in Last of Us, but I definitely had emotional reactions to those games. Hmm, I, I haven't played and finished that. But, yeah, a good story game like that, oh my gosh, can tear you apart. Uh, let's see. This is good. Well, now you guys are making me want to play Red Dead 2. I booted that up, played the first few hours of it, and it was like, oh my god, this game is awesome. Um, and then I think I had to do something at work or something. I couldn't get into it. And I kept meaning to get back into it and never did because I knew that once I started playing Red Dead that it was like a hundred plus hour game that was going to consume me. Um, but I wasn't... I don't know. I mean, is it that long? Is, how long does Red Dead 2 take to beat? Feels like it's a long one, but maybe I'm overestimating that. Alright, we want... Ah, oh, we still don't have enough ingots. Good God. Alright. We'll get some more. Actually, you know what? I need so many ingots. Let 
Maybe I'll go try to fight the the V, um, the boss. The, you know, let's see where it is. Let's let's see if we can stand a chance. So what time is? It? I have a little bit of time before daylight, but not much. So I'm gonna go around here, see if I can get some copper, and then when I can't, I'll go back, rest at my coffin, and then go look for the boss. Okay. Maybe it's not as long as I thought. I feel like one of the Persona games made me cry at some point, but maybe not. Like, some of the side quest characters that you meet in, maybe it was Persona 3. I mean, it's just like... Alright, there we go. Oh, there's some more copper. Well, well, I feel like I don't want to make the, the mace. Oh, there's a lot of those. Jekyll. So, I don't like to play horror games at all. Um, it's just not my thing. I don't like horror movies. Um, I don't, I scare easily. So, that being said, there are still certain games that I play. Resident Evil 1, um, I screamed a bunch in that game because it had jump scares. It had, like, just dogs and evil things coming out that I wasn't expecting, you know? So there's definitely that. Subnautica didn't make me scream, but... I don't do well with deep underwater, um, and you go deep underwater, and there's some things under the water that are really scary. Alright, let's think about this. No, I still don't have enough. All right, let me check this furnace. How are we doing? There we go. I'm going to make the... I don't want to do this. I don't want to make this copper mace. But I'm going to do it because I will be able to get iron when I do. Okay. All right, here we go. So now we have, you know, a massive weapon. So the reinforced bone mace is like seven physical power. This is nine. So, you know, obviously better. And I believe that I can use this for iron, if I'm remembering correctly, but I might not be. Um, I wonder if you can... Eh, it doesn't look like you can just stick stuff in there that's already... Go ahead and do that. Like sort to chest kind of stuff. Yeah, that can happen for sure. Where you're like, whoa. All right. Let's go look for the... The sun is rising. Let's wait. I bet I could beat the wolf even just with this mace. Or at least I'll pretend I can. Oh. Well, there's a wolf right here. See, this guy's in my base. What a jerk. All right. Yeah, I'm just going to sleep. Now, I can see that it's still daytime out here. But there's no clock. Mm, maybe not. Maybe you can't just sleep through the whole night. 
I don't see the... I am ready for a new like, did any time pass? What time is it? No, it's... Time did not pass, so you can't do that. Oh, there's a lot of games that do that. That's a good one. Yakuza games do that usually. Like, they're so brutal, but then, like, you know, Yakuza 3, like, when you build the orphanage and, you know, the whole family and the crew get together, everything feels like it's stabilized for a moment. But then, you know, the Japanese mafia always pulls you back in, but it, you get a little bit of stability. All right. Well... If we need resources, let's just gather them until... You know what? I can make my way to the boss. Hot dog, I'm 100% into it. I actually have um, the the latest Yakuza. Well, not the latest, but one of the, the Yakuza's where they switched from being a fighting game to uh, like a RPG. Dragon, maybe. And, uh... I want to... I started it up, even on the channel. I started doing a Let's Play of it, and then I got out of it. Um, and I really want to finish it. Because they're so funny. Um, the stories are so great. Gameplay is pretty cool. The story's actually pretty good in this one, too. Alright, let's see. This thing... The blood is telling me to go this way. So let's go that way. This is like a moose walking around. Here's some copper. Let's get it. So we need all the copper that we can get because we have no... Oh, what's this? Q, crushing blow. Oh, there's like a special attack with this weapon. I didn't notice that. So let me see what this is. That Yeah, I guess that is a crushing blow, isn't it? That's cool. The reason I'm going for the dog is I just want to see how hard this boss is. Yeah, I uh, I loved how your character was like in prison and then, you know, was coming out and trying to adjust to like all the time lost. It was really interesting and I definitely wanted to do more. Um, but yeah, the turn base threw me off, but I have to say guiltily the turn-based combat was better for me personally because even though I love Yakuza games I'm just not good at you know three-dimensional fighting games so, so there were some times in the Yakuza's where the boss fights and things were like diabolically hard for me and I would have to use like a bajillion consumable items just to pray I could make it so turn-based is a little easier for me. There's copper right over there, too, by that bear. Oh, God. They are fun. If you like, I mean, you know, like, Japanese, like, kind of like, you know, um, culture and, and some of the humor, it's, it's, they're totally great. They could be real goofy. But, yeah, just walking around like, you know, some, you know, Tokyo at night as a pimped out gangster is pretty funny. Yes, 100%. There's the Alpha Wolf. That's what we need to fight. He's going to go fight that deer. Alright. Well, I guess it's time to see how this goes. You know what, though? No, I'm not going. I'm going to wait until it's nighttime. Well, I was going to.
He's coming. Oh boy. Missed. Oh boy. Okay, the ability was on cooldown. I did not see that. Alright, we're doing okay. He summoned some other ones. It's fine. eat my soup. Oh, we got it. Sweet. Yeah, hot dog. And it's like, you. there's such a good arc of progression throughout all the Yakuza games. They're great. Taste of knowledge. Sweet. Claim it. Recognize my power. Recognize. So we got the research desk, and we'll go look at that. And we got a bunch of stuff for doing that. Which is tremendous. What's all this red dot stuff out here? Oh, health orbs. Okay, well. Yeah, who doesn't want health orbs? So we got something here. We got a new entry in V-Blood. And Alpha Wolf unlocks vampiric powers. We get wolf form. All right, let me see here. And then I need to go to the research desk to be able to use this power. So let's get back home. That really wasn't that bad. I probably didn't need to grind up as much as I did to beat that. You, just, you definitely wanted to have some vermin salve with you. Some rat medicine. But if you can get that counter going right, there's a necropolis kind of area. I'm just going to run by these guys. I'm not going to fight them. I don't have any good short fairy tales that I can remember offhand. I wish. But if anybody else does, please, by all means. I do love fairy tales, though. All right, that... Big Moose is running away like, dude, get away from me. Oh. So, yeah, you can't, like, go across water in this game, which I guess you're a vampire, so they don't like. And it depends on your mythology for vampire. This vampire doesn't like water. But here's our castle. We made it back. And right by our castle, you'll see there's a bunch of... I think we can get this iron. Oh, it's sulfur. Well, I was wrong about what this is. But sulfur is definitely something that we're going to need anyway, so might as well get it. And let's go in here. All right. So now we can build a research desk. Let's do this. Let's go to research, and we can easily build this right, you know, wherever we want. Right there looks just fine. At this awesome research desk. Um, oh, man, I keep building everything backward. This is killing me. I wonder if I can adjust it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go into build mode, and I'm going to, yeah, you can adjust it. I need to rotate this. I need to rotate this, actually, as well. Oh, that's sweet. You can just pick it up. Yeah, because I had it placed wrong. There we go. Oh, that's awesome, hot dog. My pleasure, my friend. Yeah, that's what I really like doing. It's like, it, it's just a reciprocal process. Like, you all in the community recommend either on the YouTube videos and comments or just in chat on, on stream such great games, and I just go play them. And then sometimes I'll just take a random whim on a game or, you know, hear about it from a friend and I'll play it. And then, you know, you might try it out. And then we just kind of keep 
keep this awesome hobby of, you know, having fun playing video games going because there's there's so many good games out there. It's a really good time to be a gamer. There's more, you know, good times than good games out available than ever. But sometimes it's hard to figure out, you know, what choice you should make given that. All right, so we we can discover technology um, with paper, which is cool, but no, 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 wait. Um, let me get the prize. What's the prize? Okay, we can interact with mirrors. Upgrade the castle heart to level two and interact with it. Well, how do I upgrade this to level two? Upgrade the castle heart. I need leather. Ooh. I do too, Nick, man. I'm not a fan of it at all. The only time I'm a fan of monetization is if it's uh, cosmetic. And then I'll be like, that's fine, whatever. But it's really weird as an old school gamer that you can't just pay full price for a game once and then own it. And then, you know, the volume of DLC sometimes is crazy. What game were we talking about? Like, there's some really good games out there, but I mean... Like, I think it's Stellaris, maybe. Stellaris is maybe really cool, but it's like... You know, there's $200 of DLC for the game. Yes, Morgan, 100%, right? You can really connect with people and bond and find something fun to do together um, through gaming. It's 100%. I agree. All right, let's see. I need to figure out how to get this um, power that I have set. Um, oh, this lets you customize your vampire, but... I need copper. Okay, fine. What about, um... I don't have the grinder yet, I guess. What do I need for this? Whetstones? Well, I don't even have... I don't even know how to get that. Let's see... Yeah, that's always interesting. You know, to be honest, I got Jedi Survivor on the PS5, and it works. I've had no performance problems with it, but I understand on PC, it's not that way. Yeah, Hot Dog, I'm that way too. I mean, like, I'll play games on vanilla. I don't mind, but it is always sad when you're like, boy, you know, there's a lot going on that I'm going to be, you know, out of. All right, what do I... Maybe I'm just doing this wrong. Um, let me go to the spell book. Chaos, Illusion, Storm, Vampire Powers. Here we go. Here we go. Shape-shifting. Um, wolf form. Okay. So to do this, you go control, and then you just change. Oh, that's right. And you can heal. I don't even know what exposed vein you means. Oh, you expose it to another player. What does blood men mean? Oh, this is how you heal yourself. I forgot about that. There's another way to heal yourself. You can use your blood to heal yourself, but I'm at full. But then here you go. I can transform into a wolf. Like that. And then um, I get a 60% movement speed buff. But if I take damage, it messes with it. Okay, we're making ingots. That's great. Okay, perfect. So look at that. I'm a big wolf. This is what's so cool about this game. You know, um, oh, looks like metal just spawns. Like, I didn't remember that being there. Um, I'm not making a dent. Uh, here, ch I guess change out of this form. Oh, no, no, don't. Oh, God. There you go. Alright, so let's go look for metal. We need leather. I, the thing about leather is, to get leather, you have to be able to make a, a tanning bench or something like that, I think. B blood. Let's see. We got that guy. Yeah, see, you have to kill this Keeley, the Frost Archer, because they unlock the tannery, which gives you access to leather. You know what, um, Hot Dog? Good friend of the channel, Crispy Bacon, has been recommended Stranded Alien Dawn a bunch, and I really want to check it out. I'm excited about that. 
Um, is it on PC Game Pass or is it? I can't remember, but anyway, yeah, it looks really good. Games about vampires. There's so many, right? It's a very, very popular game genre. 